rejuvenation based on the me mechanism of a skin scar. It is true that everyone can rejuvenate, because we are all experiencing premature aging. In the future, 100 years will separate one generation from the next. Maybe at that time, rejuvenation may not be necessary. People at that age do not need this process of rejuvenation. With the disappearing of scars, we get rejuvenation. This is our model. Stomatic cells in the scars were transformed into stem cells to rejuvenate scars. This is really true, I swear, though it is unbelievable to get the stem cells from somatic cells from a scar. Recently, the result was repeated and verified again in Hunan Medical University, one of our clinical research bases, and also in the People's Hospital of Hunan Province using the same procedure. I said they are the first batch of repeaters. Rejuvenation is achieved with removal of scars through the transformation of stomatic cells into stem cells. See this picture? Such a large scar on the face has disappeared. Imagine that a small scar in a heart with a mitochondriac infraction accompanied with CHD. It would be much easier for it to be regeneratively restored. Until now, both lung fibrosis and liver fibrosis can be regeneratively restored and rejuvenated. This is no longer new and has an application history of more than 10 years. Now the National Medical Network of MIBO has included this part as routine therapy. Now we come to external organs. Our human body organs can be divided into internal and external parts. See these pictures of external body? Do you see the difference? Is it rejuvenation? On the left is a face at 55 years old, while on the right is a face at 60 years old. Is the appearance on the right much younger? Of course, cosmetology can make our skin finer and smoother, but the regenerative restoration of external organs does not only mean that of appearance. What we do is rejuvenate the whole face deep into the muscle level. This is rejuvenation of external organs. You can see our technology has lifted up all the muscles in the face. The frontalis became tense, so did the eyebrows. When you are old, your muscles will be flabby and droopy. The person looks more spirited since her eyebrows have been lifted. Have you seen my pictures just now? Have you seen them carefully? Look at my eyebrows. They were droopy five years ago and they are lifted now. Look at this picture. Which part of her cheekbones became higher? The cave part is now elevated. Now the muscles in the cheekbone are elevated to the original position. See her ears, just like facial muscles, will drop as her age increases. The ear is in the left picture has drooped. See closely. The ear in the right picture have been lifted up compared with the left picture. Also, the muscle in the ear is lifted up. Look at the muscles around the mouth. They have been lifted up and constricted. As a result, the nasal lip line is also lifted up. We often say a smile makes a person look 10 years younger. Indeed, a smile can make us look much younger, though our age cannot be reduced. When we are smiling, the nasal lip line will be lifted up just like this. So after the regenerative restoration of external organs, this person will look much more younger when smiling. Aged muscles are droopy and flabby while young muscles are tight. I believe you will be very interested in the regenerative restoration of facial muscles. After all, we all want to be young. We are born young, and so we have the potential of being young. Look at my pictures. This part cannot be matched. Why? That is because the muscles in this part have changed. However, there is a part of our face which will never change. The nasal bones, which are hard. Based on the nasal bones, we can observe these changes. Just now you saw Mr. Liu. He is more than 60 years old. Can you believe it? He looks like a young guy and is so energetic. He is also a volunteer in my club. Once I told him it was not enough just to see and listen to my science, but he must also experience it. If you do not experience it, you won't believe it. Even if you believe it, you are not a scientist, since scientists have the characteristics of digging out the deep truth. So finally, he was persuaded to join my club. So you see, there are changes in the past years. Many media fellows know what I looked like in 2007 when I was given a news press. I am sure you can see the differences between what I looked like then and now. Okay, so much about the rejuvenation of external organs. All the body muscles are just like the facial muscles. With the increase of age, they will become droopy and flabby. Many of our volunteers are glad to say that they are very satisfied with their present situation and that their muscles are becoming more tense and constricted. These are the results of external organs. Okay, next we talk about the rejuvenation of internal organs. The internal organs are not easy to see. The organ that is the most convenient to see is the gastrointestinal tract. 
The heart and the liver cannot be seen with a conventional method, but we can find methods to solve this problem. The left picture is an aged gastrointestinal mucosa. In plain words, mucosa refers to villi. The left picture is of aged gastrointestinal villi. The right picture shows the regenerated mucosa. This side is lifeless, while the other side is vigorous. We have seen the comparison of internal organs before and after rejuvenation. Later in this lecture, I will give you a special session to show you the more detailed results about this. We know that some internal and indirect organs are difficult to see. But some technology, such as special imaging techniques, isotope technology, and ATP energy distribution can be used to monitor the rejuvenation of the body's organs. For example, these technologies are used to look at whether the blood vessels are blocked or not, or to see whether they are open or not. These will be addressed later on one by one. Well, let's see how the regenerative restoration of the gastrointestinal tract is achieved. When our ongoing human regenerative restoration and rejuvenation study, which is currently in its first five-year period, reaches the 10th year, we will announce more exciting results. First of all, we summarize the regular pattern. The procedure is from sub-health to health. In our study, patients in a sub-health state improved to be in a healthy state after half a month. Through regenerative restoration in half a month, the energy, spirit, vigor, and strength are thriving and patients continue to be vigorous. At that time, you will be able to notice a difference in appearance of the patient's eyes. Some changes will take place in the eyes. The eyes become more brighter, fine, and intense. Changes in energy, spirit, vigor, and strength of patients are also evident. Following two years of treatment, the whole body will be regenerated and restored, during which you will not get sick. The body will be all in good healthy state. From the third year, you will enter into rejuvenation period. So you see, we only spend two years to achieve rejuvenation. According to our research data, is this batch. Rejuvenation can be achieved in two years, and this process is still continuing and will last for a long time. But as for how long, I have no idea. But based on the results from mice, we can speculate that this process can last for 50 years with no aging occurring to the body. Another group consisting of patients with systemic and intraceable diseases should also be treated by regenerative restoration science. That is to say, these kinds of patients can also be regeneratively restored. Regeneration includes two parts. One is the regeneration of healthy organs, and the other is that of unhealthy organs. But no matter what the organ is like before regeneration, it can be regenerated. Unhealthy organs can first be changed into a healthy state and then come into the regeneration stage. But now, even though some diseases have been regeneratively retreated, such as high blood pressure, uterine fibroids, and lung fibrosis, which can be restored in about three years, we cannot give a defined time to achieve rejuvenation. The law hasn't been formed yet. However, the rejuvenation law and procedures for healthy and sub-healthy people have been established. No doubt the value of human being regenerative restoration science will be very great so you can imagine how tremendous the value of life regenerative science will be. You know it will bring a priceless new life and a new world to human beings. However, there is a price for this regenerative substance. Even though the product is expensive now, later on it will cost as much as a breakfast does. With little money, you can achieve rejuvenation.